Of all the winged creatures that migrate through the Columbia Basin, the sandhill cranes are the most graceful and most mysterious. Every spring and autumn, these grand birds touch down in eastern Washington. The distinctive cry of sandhill cranes is among the most captivating sounds in nature. Their cries can be heard for miles. Their calling is unique. Once you know it, you identify it immediately. The Othello Sandhill Crane Festival highlights the spring return of the sandhill cranes to the Greater Othello area and the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge. The three-day festival at the middle to end of March includes a variety of activities to enjoy. The festival has tours to view the cranes, the distinctive volcanic geology, the dramatic impact of the Ice Age floods, and much more on the wildlife in the area. The festival also offers numerous lectures, art exhibits, and workshops. The concentration of cranes around Othello is a fairly recent event, beginning in earnest in the late 1970s. The Sandhill Cranes have made the farmland around Othello a gathering area to rest and refuel during the spring migration to Alaska. This staging begins in the Columbia Basin around mid-February, peaks during mid to late March, and ends in April. Some birds spend just a few days here while others remain for several weeks. They're here to feed and rest. They fly in groups of 50 to 200 birds. On land, they will congregate in groups of up to 4,000. The irrigated agriculture land provides food, mostly waste grain and cornfields and water, from the Columbia Basin Irrigation Project for roosting sites. All cranes are omnivorous. Sandhill cranes feed on a wide variety of plant tubers, grains, small animals, and insects or worms. The cranes will mate as they come back to the Columbia Basin in spring. They perform a courting dance common to all cranes in which they face each other and half jump, half fly. Dancing can occur at any age and season. Dancing is generally believed to be a normal part of motor development for cranes. The dance strengthens the pair bond. Sandhill cranes mate for life. A sandhill crane stands about three to four feet tall with a wingspan of about six feet. The cranes are relatively long-lived at 20 to 30 years, but they reproduce slowly. Adult sandhill cranes weigh only about seven pounds and are very efficient gliders. They are often seen circling. Sandhill cranes can fly from 15 to 50 miles per hour, depending on wind speed and direction. Thermals, raising columns of heated air, help them gain altitudes of up to 12,000 feet. However, they generally migrate at altitudes of less than 5,000 feet. They may average 150 to over 400 miles a day. They're exceptionally well adapted to soaring. Their plumage is characterized by shades of gray, while the forehead and crown are covered with reddish skin. In general, males and females are virtually indistinguishable, but within a breeding pair, males tend to be larger than females. What we see in the Columbia Basin is only one of several sandhill crane populations, the largest of those populations migrates through the Platte River region of Nebraska. The cranes of the Columbia Basin are classified as lesser sandhill cranes. The sandhill cranes of the Pacific Flyway winter in the Central Valley of California. They spend their summers nesting in Alaska. One of the best ways to watch cranes is looking at them from the road because they're fairly tolerant of vehicles. Viewers, of course, should exercise common sense, wildlife watching etiquette. Stay on roads, don't block traffic or trespass, and don't do anything to spook the flocks. That's all that's asked by the feathered visitors. <laughs>